it's Nikki D. All right, you guys. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. If you want, I, I know I've been gone. And if you want to know, where has Nikki D been? I have been in the dark. That is right. My electricity got cut off, y'all. But I'm here now. And I'm here to answer you guys' this question about um, this week's question of how did your parents take you coming out as transgendered? My parents. Um, well, Papa Nikki D and Mama Nikki D are two completely, completely separate stories. Um, you know, my mother never really... She's not really one to get involved in my life, I want to say. And especially when it comes to things of a transitioning nature. She kind of, I want to say self-centered. Um, yeah. She's kind of self-centered. She does her own thing. I love her to death. And that, you know, but that's just her. That's just her way. Um, she's a Gemini. You know, what more do you need? Um, but we did talk about it, and then she told me, um, that basically, before I was born, she would tell everybody, oh, I'm having a girl, I'm having a girl, I'm having a girl, I'm having a girl, I'm having a girl. Like, she would go around telling people this all the time, just all the time. She's having a girl, and, um, turns around and didn't have a girl. <laughs> But, you know, and so she was saying that it was just kind of weird for her to see that, you know, now, some 20 odd years later, here I am, um, being the girl that she always wanted me to be, I guess. I don't know. She even picked out a name for me, um, which I kind of like, actually. It's not a, it's not a bad name. But anyway, um, then my father, on the other hand, has never really been in my life. I've always known who he is. I've seen who he is, and he's even. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get, I'm making another video about him on my my page, or if we have a special subject one week just about fathers, and you'll get get an earload about him. But he really doesn't care, you know. He he's never really taken an interest, and when I came out as trans, he said, "I don't care what you do, but I want a grandchild." And so, um, in so many ways, he's like a stranger. Like, you know, so many people grow up hearing stories about their parents' childhood. I know so many stories about my mother's childhood. And, you know, I couldn't tell you a single one about my father's. I don't know anything that he does. And yet you have this humongous request of me to have a child like immediately it's it's not like you know later on i want one now i want a grandchild now and the last time i called my grandmother's house to talk to her he came over while i was talking to her and um i heard him in the background and he was talking to her he was like oh that ain't nothing but a faggot da, 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 da. and it's really hurtful um it was it's not so much that he's mad because I don't have kids, because that's, to me, that's stupid. And that's just something you have to get over it. But, but um, of all of my first cousins on my father's side, um, of his siblings' kids, I'm the only one that has my own apartment, that pays my own bills, that um, is responsible enough to, I think, even have children at this point in my life. I'm the only one that's responsible enough to do so. Um, I shop for myself. I clothe myself. I feed myself. Uh, I work. I'm an entrepreneur. I make money. Of all of all my um, cousins and stuff, you know, I'm the only one that does that. And, you know, every time I talk to my aunt or one of my uncles or something like that, they're always quick to tell me, um, wow, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up, Nisi. And they call me that. They call me Nisi. They don't call me nephew or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, they use the correct pronouns, saying, 
are very supportive of me because they see that I've actually worked hard to make something out of myself and I'm continuing to work hard to make something out of myself. You know what I mean? Um, and like, he's the only one out of all of them that doesn't, that, that is like, oh, I can't, I can't stand this faggot and da 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 And they asked him why, and he was just like, oh, because he hasn't given me any grandkids and blah, blah, blah. Honey. Well. You know what I mean? And of my mo- and even with my mother, my mother's only request was that I have kids because she wants grandkids. And it's just like, I'm 22 years old. I have a life to live. You know what I mean? I, I don't want kids until I'm later on in my prime when I've accomplished most of my goals. I do want kids, but not right now. So both of my parents are just fixated on being grandparents and not parents to their own child. And that is, you know, I think the, the tragedy of my life was that, you know, neither of my parents were really dedicated to being parents and interested in my life, either being a parent or being interested in my life, but they want me to have a child. That is um, something that to me is really kind of hurtful. But I grow. I move on. I'm there for myself. I don't need them to be there for me because I'm there for myself. I don't do them. Anyway. Uh, and there was one person, however, whose opinion did matter to me. There was one person who almost made me, who almost got me not to transition. Um, or who almost delayed my transition, rather. And because my love for her was so strong, you know, that was the reason why I almost, I almost um, detransitioned for a week. But I didn't. And I held my ground. But her name will be posted in another video on my page. <laughs> you guys, this is Mickey D. Stay tuned for me on Tuesdays, because Tuesdays are my day. Hi,